Welcome to this informal business simulation tutorial on agriculture. In this tutorial, I will cover all the business units that fall under category of agriculture and provide raw materials that are not extracted with mines and sawmills, but are actually grown in animal farms, plantations, plant farms, or received in fishing bases. Later on, these can be used to produce different goods in factories. Now let's continue with opening a new subdivision that would be called Animal Farm. There are four types of animal farms. Cow sheds, pig farms, poultry, and sheep farms. It's up to you which one you want to open. And don't forget that these can provide you with different goods. As you open a new farm, you're not limited by the country geographically, as you can open a farm anywhere. Thus, choosing the country that you have an office in is the choice. As you can see, there is quite a large list of specialization depending on the forage you're using to maintain your livestock. So either it can be that breeding or you can provide milk, milk and meat. Now, depending on the type of forage you're using to feed your animals, there will be certain bonuses or there will be certain minuses on the end quality of your production. So let's choose car breeding for the moment. I can choose the size of the farm, starting with one building and moving on to 50 buildings. Now that naturally, the more buildings, the more, the higher is the number of workplaces and the higher is the amount of equipment used. Of course, the price will increase and the time needed to build will be increasing as well. So for, let's start with a smaller one. And so here you can choose the level of technology introduced. You can either buy one or you can develop yourself. As you can see, the price for buying is, is pretty high. Now, the developing of technology is cheaper, but will take more time. The higher the level of technology, the higher is the maximum quality of the end product. So, the more strategical advantage compared to your competitors. And in the end, before you open, you will receive all the information about the business unit you are about to open. And now, let's move on to the management of the farm. So first of all, what you can do is change the size of the farm. As you can see in the beginning, even you can start with one building, but later on add additional buildings that will cost you additional money, and, but that will also create additional workspaces. Specialization can also be changed, so you can switch to different uh, forage types in order to achieve different results and as a result different production bonuses or minuses will be applied. The livestock is the difference of the farms is that here you need to buy pigs with well the ones you will be working. It works the same way as it works in factories or any other business unit when you're choosing equipment in this case this is not equipment this is livestock. So you can see the suppliers, you can see what they have in their farms or warehouses. And you can see the price structure and the total price is the one that, com is cons that consists out of initial price by the seller and also delivery and customs included and naturally the quality. And usually the higher the quality, the higher is the price. Now, as you know, there are two types of suppliers, real people participating in the simulation or independent suppliers. After you have selected the supplier, you can input the value of the animals you want to purchase. Now, as you can see in the upper right corner, there is a certain information given like current quality of the livestock you have and also livestock in main pitfalls that you have. As you buy additional animals, you can see the total price and also how it will affect the final quality as it will be recalculated and how much it will affect the total health of your animals. 
By clicking buy animals, it means that you will receive your piggies on the same turn. So you will not have to wait for next turn. And you will see your result right away. In order to take care of the animals you have bought, you require to have enough employees. So you will be given information how much you need to hire and what their qualification has to be. Now take into consideration that if the livestock you have purchased is of the very, very high quality, you will require a highly specialized and highly qualified employees to work with that livestock. Otherwise, your animals will either begin to die because they will be not taken care of properly, or there will be certain minuses on the production that will be provided by the farm. Employees and salary is managed through employees and salary tab. You can choose the employees and then input the amount manually or choose the slider. And by changing the value of the salary, you can increase the qualification of the employees or you can use HR department so in this case input the qualification you want them to have manually and then click option number one or choose option number two when the HR department will automatically change the salary in order to meet the required qualification and the last third option is not to use HR department at all and as you click on save changes you will receive end result now take into consideration that office efficiency affects the overall unit efficiency so take care of your offices and if you want to know how please take a look at the tutorial about the business units called offices now as we have taken care of our main farm management we can move on to financial reports now as every business unit uh, farms as well will have financial reports a certain data evaluate its efficiency and productivity you can also analyze income statement you can see data provided by products by purchases and by buyers so you will see how well your farm is doing and the tab livestock you will have information about your little animals that you're trying to grow and use them to produce certain provide certain goods to the market in livestock tab you can you can manage your livestock here as well not only in the farm tab but also you can manage your pinfalls so in the pinfalls you place the amount of animals you want to sell to other farms so basically if you want to breed them and so have some additional income by selling to other farms now take into consideration that disease is a very very serious status for your animals because not only it will affect negatively the quality of your products but it will also negatively affect the amount of pigs you will have or other animals you will have in your farm so which means if the animals will start dying you will start losing your source of income also you'll be given a minimum forage quality so that means that's the quality you have to aim at for your animals not to get sick in the production tab you can manage the products you produce in this farm and you can sell them to the market so here you can see the output and certain bonuses you will receive depending on your specialization and as you can see here as well you can sell certain animals to other farms in case they're looking to buy them then you can input the price manually and choose the distribution policy either you want to sell to any customer only to certain companies where you have to input their names or only to your own company if you have a big agricultural business you can also input a limitation for maximum volume of sales so in this case if you don't want uh, to sell out completely you can limit the size of the order received by a client after you input the information don't forget to click on save changes otherwise information will be lost as well you will see what is the situation of raw materials that you require for your animals to live and not to get sick in order to produce goods so you will see the amount, the type of raw material, and also the amount that is purchased, ordered, and also what you have in stock. As well, the notes will warn you 
when you will run out of materials or the quality of the materials is not high enough. In the supply tab, you can manage the materials you need. So in this case, the forage, the food for the animals. Clicking on the green color near the icon of the raw material, you will open up a supplier list. You will be given information what is the quality recommended according to technology as well as what it is the amount required and also how much you have in stock. Now don't forget that supplies will travel to your farm for the whole turn. After you have chosen the supplier, depending on the available supplies that he or she can sell it to you, and also considering the price, the total price with the delivery and customs, and also the price and quality combination, you can input the value you require. Do not forget about the additional terms. Now, these are automatic triggers to cancel the contract because after you place an order, that order is active all the time unless you make it one time purchase by clicking on this square. If the price of the product will increase by a certain percentage or will reach a certain value you're not willing to surpass and pay, the contract will be cancelled. Also, you can input the quality value you want to receive. If the production quality will start to drop due to mistakes the supplier will be making in his own business, the contract will be cancelled as well. By clicking on place an order, we can place an order for a specific good from this supplier. Now, we can make orders from more than one supplier. In the end, what will happen is that as you will receive all the goods, all the raw materials, their overall quality will be taken as an average, considering the amount and overall quality. The prime cost will be calculated as well. So as you can see here now, we, we have active contracts, active supply contracts, and the list of suppliers that are providing their goods to you. You can edit the size of the supply of the order here as well by inputting the value or changing the conditions. And just don't forget to click on the edit button afterwards. You can also track the price and quality change in these fields as well. In sales tab, you as uh, same as in production tab, you can see the data about the products you are producing. What is the output, how much you have in stock, how much orders you have, and what is the amount that is available after the orders have been sent. You can input the price and also change the distribution policy. And as well, you can see the list of your customers. Now, don't forget that if you have many orders and there are certain customers you want to be taken care of first in case you're running out of the available production to sell, the clients that will be on the top of the list will be sure to receive the production. And if you will run out of the production in the process and your orders will exceed the available goods for sales that you have in stock, the clients at the bottom of the list will not receive anything. That might be a good sign that you need to increase your farm and produce even more. And finally, technologies can be either bought or developed in your own laboratories. But as you can see, as level of technology rises, the price rises as well. Naturally, the maximum quality of the product also rises. But in this case, uh, don't forget that you can develop these technologies yourself. Just it will take some time. And the higher level of technology, the more time you will need. That covers the basic functionality of the farm. Now, as we move on to the fishing base, you will see that it is similar to a farm. The difference is that you will require equipment. In this case, that will be ships. And uh, you can buy them from a variety of providers. Depending on the level of technology installed, you might need a high-tech ships or low-tech ships. The size of fishing base will, will allow you to hire more people, use more equipment, and receive more fish. The specialization is the one that allows you to choose what kind of fish, what kind of fish product you can gather and provide to your clients. 
the equipment can be bought from the providers it is very similar to the animal farms is that just you're buying not the livestock but specific tools or equipment or in this case ships depending on the level of quality of ships you require appropriate qualification of employees to manage these ships employees' salaries are managed the same way you can either hire or fire and by raising salary you can increase uh, their qualification same as in farms and other business units you can see financial reports in the production tab you can see the goods that your fishing base is producing here you can input the price for the production and as well as sales policy in sales tab same as in production you can see you can manage the sales price and distribution policy as well as view the customer list and uh, choose which client you want to sell to and which not technologies same as in farms you can choose level of technology the difference between farms and fishing bases is that the fishing base usually uses the active waters in the specific countries and they simply fish they don't need to take care of forage but you can also not breed your fishes and now as we have covered the business units as animal farms and fishing bases and these are provide our animal products or fish products we can move on to agricultural farms and plantations now both grow vegetables or fruits it is possible to build farms only in specific countries and also even though the time is concentrated in our simulation meaning one day or one hour is equal to one week there is still such a thing as seasons and crop yield and maturity so that's why we have uh, near the clock what time is left to the game update we also see uh, the month in this case uh, thanks to that we can track which part of the season it is and are we in uh, in the harvest season or are we just preparing for the harvest as you choose one of the regions you can see near the crop yield and maturity graphics a number it could be one two or three or even more that is the fertility and how many times you can yield the crops so let's say we choose crop yield free to move on to the smallest of the farms now naturally the bigger is the farming territory the more workplaces we will have and more crops we can yield and as a result, we can see that we have all the data here available. After we have chosen to grow certain plants, you have already limited possibilities to change specialization, but you can increase the total area used for farming, which means literally increasing the size of the business unit. Also, we will be giving graphics on which season you're in which month you're in and uh, how much time is left and how much months you have to wait till you can yield the crops till then you will have no results you can buy equipment because you will need that to, to yield the crops now we have to take into consideration that depending on the technology that you have you'll be given information of what quality do you need going lower is not recommended because that will have a negative effect on the results of the business unit it works the same way as with fishing bases and other business units you will receive that equipment on the same turn of order you also will see the final quality and the maximum amount and also what is the status with final wear and tear now once again the higher level of equipment the higher has to be the qualification of your employees and employees are managed through employee and salary tab where we can input the value that is needed once again it's up to you whether to follow the recommendations in financial reports you can track the financial data and the, the performance of your business unit so in this case you can see the graphics with the revenues 
expenses, profit, and taxes, as well as, as, well as income statement, data by product and by buyer. In the production tab, you can see what kind of goods can be produced in farms overall. Well, it doesn't mean that in this specific form you can produce all of them because you have the specialization you have chosen cannot be changed. But here you can see how much of the specific vegetable you are growing, what will be the output when the harvest season will come, and how much orders you will have, and how much of the production there will be left available. So you can choose the price, distribution policy, limit the maximum volume of the order, and also view the contracts that are available in sales tab. Sales and production tabs are pretty similar. The difference is that you can see the customer list. Now, technologies, once again, works the same way. You either can buy the technology or you can develop the technology. It's up to you. Developing is cheaper, but takes time. So as you can see, agricultural farms and the essential part of the agricultural farms and plantations is that depending on the type of the product you want to grow, it either has a longer harvest season, which means it's going to consist even just out of two uh, months but in this case can consist of four months or even more so once again you have to choose carefully when you're forming your strategy and you're trying to build your own farms and that generally covers the agricultural business unit group